<laughs> this, this dog bark. Now I'm gonna take my millions, buy me some Pokemon cards, and I'm gonna chill. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your boy Progress West, and I'm back with another banger of a video that you don't want to miss out on. And I have only one question for you. Do you remember a little show called The Game of Thrones? If so, how do you feel about the last season? Did it leave you satisfied or were you wanting for more? Let me know down below. But speaking of controversial, our video here today is about this controversial streamer named I Show Speed. I don't know much about him, but luckily we have my boy Internet AJ here to give us the tea. So leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Look how look how quick homeboy right here jumped up. I thought he was gonna rock his face off right now. That's funny. <laughs> <That's so crazy. laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, the Indian shop owner you tried to rob last week here. I saw you staring down my cash register. How did you get internet in a jail cell? Weird, huh? Anyways, today I'm going to be talking about iShow Speed. He is a YouTube streamer who jumped from around 30,000 to over 6 million subscribers in the span of a year. Damn. Shockingly, iShow Speed had no other platform like Vine to launch from, didn't rely on giving away expensive items like Mr. Beast, and wasn't part of a content house. However, Speed's been criticized for acting toxic in order to fuel his growth. He loves to rage, react excessively to the point of faking, and generally put on a big show. While doing so may be beneficial for his sub count, it could be detrimental to his career in the long run. Let's explore this epic saga together. This is the insane but toxic rise of iShow Speed. Before I get into it, I just want to thank today's sponsor, Supernova by Hunt a Killer. Supernova is a little different from Hunt a Killer's typical crime solving games as it is a comic book inspired sci fi one. After signing up for a membership to the official Supernova fan club, I'm the sorry, player is contacted by the hear. series creator. Particularly enjoyable for people with big imaginations. Supernova is medium difficulty, meaning a iShow Speed started out on YouTube with a simple upload called 2K18 First Video posted on December 20th, 2017. It featured regular gameplay without any commentary. To most eyes it looked basic and to be honest it wasn't anything special. To be fair though, pretty much no YouTuber's first video was ever a masterpiece. I mean, I deleted my original upload, Curry Porn Boy Sings Justin Bieber to hide the shame. Speed briefly transitioned to Fortnite, but didn't have much success with it. So he came back to NBA 2K in April 2020 as he was inspired by Flight Reacts and Pugatti. However, this time he was ready. He had a face cam and streamed consistently. Although his footage was low quality and he was often shirtless, the Ice Poseidon starter pack was enough to launch his career. Initially, Speed only had a few live viewers, but he didn't seem to care. He truly loved playing 2K20, which was a close community. Speed legitimately had fun streaming and his audience could feel his energy across the screen. Notably, he was mainly a post scorer, which wasn't common and made him stand out from other 2K streamers. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know, I don't know anything about sports. What's a post scorer? If you know what it is, let me know down below, because I'm trying to know. Let me know. I'm ignorant. Throughout 2020, he made a name for himself by making small bets, engaging in challenges, and doing $25 PSN giveaways. As he got bigger towards the end of summer, his wagers became larger. But he still struggled and once lost a $500 pot due to controller connection issues. Oh. Oh. Bro, restart this region, bro. Restart, restart this game one, bro. Restart game one, bro. Restart game one, bro. Restart game one, bro. Speed was undeniably scuffed, but in a way it made him more relatable. He wasn't some rich gamer using a $10,000 setup his dad got him. Instead, he was just a teenager trying to entertain anyone who would watch. By fall of 2020, Speed averaged around 100 live viewers per stream. Interestingly, this was a very pivotal time for his career. Many larger creators- I love you, AJ. You my guy, but boy, you need to shave your face, my guy. You look like a fucking Indian werewolf. And I mean that with the utmost respect, because I love you, internet, a J. But, I, bro, like, give a shit. Of 2020, <laughs> Speed averaged around 100 live viewers per stream. Interestingly, this was a very pivotal time for his career. Many larger creators just left the newly released NBA 2K21 due to its severe gameplay issues. So smaller creators like Speed were able to move up the ladder and fill the gap. Soon, he gained notoriety for his absolutely toxic behavior. He frequently cursed, threw his controller, and even hit himself. Fuck! <laughs> what the heck? 
Damn! Bitch! Fuck it, damn! <laughs> what? Ew! It was he like he was putting ew. on a show, but for better or worse, his audience oh loved every gosh. second of it. Speed was even featured on World Star Hip Hop for breaking down after a tough loss. <laughs> noises he makes. <laughs> you freaking jungle cat. <laughs> Interestingly, his father saw the clip and told him he had to quit YouTube. My father, he seen the video, then he told my mother that I had to quit YouTube. And I and look at the time I and look at the time I had five thousand subs too. I had five thousand subs. So I was like, bruh. He also got cursed out by his mother. My mama didn't want me to do YouTube no more because she seen the video and the video was just, oh my god, bro. Hey, I know how I be like game. You feel me? You know how I be game. So she seen the video, man. She, she she called my, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, my dad called my mom. You feel me? She over there. I'm talking about cussing me out, bro. Cause she, I was, I was <laughs> you know, doing vulgar language in there, bro. The language is, it was just so, so much. To make matters worse, his mom kicked him out of the house. Apparently, she was more upset at the comments than the actual World Star video. After that, uh, I left the house. I was real mad. I was real mad because, you me? Cause like, I ain't had nothing else but you two. So I left the house. She called the cops, man. She called the cops on me. You feel me? Cause look, she gonna tell me to leave. I'm like, I, I like, look, I left. Then when I leave, she talking about come back. I'm calling the cops. She called the cops on me, man. I was low key scared, man. She called the cops on me and shit, bro. So I came back and shit, and he said, you know what? You out. I said, damn. You wanna know something crazy though? She said, you better come back, cause I'm calling the cops to bring you here. And then he shows up, and she says, yeah. You're out of here. Why'd you even call the cops in the first place? Why didn't you just let him go about his business if he's going to bring him back? To she wanted to get the last word. That's what it was. She wanted to have the last word. You know how women are. Yeah, 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 yeah. They always got to have the last freaking word. Ew. They weren't even mad about the video. They was mad about the comments. Like, you worried about other motherfuckers, bro? I ain't gonna lie. The comments was making me mad, too. But I ain't even care, though, bro. I, I get hate all day, 24-7. They was mad about the goddamn comments and the way I was acting, too. You feel me? But, like, you really pissed about comments, but that shit really got to me, bro. That's I ain't gonna lie. They were for real, for real. That's the only reason why they keep me out, because I'm about the comments, for real, for real. Like, at the time, I was like, no, I ain't trying to leave my home town, my home city, it's my home town, Cincinnati, Ohio, bro. As a result, Speed moved to Michigan with his father, who changed his mind and supported him. Unwilling to be knocked down, Speed continued streaming with a renewed intensity. Unfortunately, though, he ran into trouble when he got doxxed in April 2021, around the time he hit 100k subscribers. Speed then made a video discussing an Instagram page that posted his personal information as well as his mother's work number. I got it. Please, please help me. I have to help me. This page has been doxing my information, my address, my family members, even my mama job. My mama is, my mama is awesome. Mom, please. Why he got this, why he got the view all up in his nose? I could see like his... I can see his knot and his nose hair just chilling, bro. This is gross. It reminds me of you know those old grandpas when they finally get like a smartphone and then they take a picture and they always take it like like this, like looking down like that, like there's the camera, they're all like looking down and they have the little double chin shit. That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> oh my god, my guy. Fix your angles, son. My my mama job. <laughs> nose hairs. They been calling my mama job. I can see his heartbeat through his nose hairs. <laughs> what? Boy, stop. Please get this page taken down. I'm not playing. This was very, I'll, this will really help me out. The doxing got so bad that he even had to temporarily move to a hotel in May 2021. It's here, man. I love y'all boys. I'm out. I just got done packing up all my stuff. Uh, and uh, and all honesty, though, that is messed up, man. Like, doxing is not cool. Especially not this dude. He's like, what, like a 16-year-old child or something? How you gonna dox a 16 year old child, man? Like doxing is not cool. I, ho I hope whoever uh, was doing that gets like, at least some jail time. What's up, bro? Uh, I just wanna let y'all know, just pray for me, man. That's, man, that's really it. Just pray for me, bro. That's all I really wanna know, but I love y'all boys. I'm out, hit the like a sub button, and just, I'll probably see y'all tomorrow, I'm out. Nothing could keep him down though. He gave it his all on YouTube and was exploding rapidly. On May 17, 2021, he doubled his sub count to 200k subscribers and then hit 300k in June. The reason? 
Well, TikTok. It was a secret growth hack that propelled iShow speed to never before seen heights. People clipped his freakouts, then posted them on TikTok, which resulted in uncontrolled virality. Aiden Ross also pointed out how it was the key to his success. There's one YouTuber. His name is Speed. He sped his way to the top without being in a fucking cloud house. You guys all better be paying attention. I hope you guys know how he's doing it too. TikTok, bro. TikTok is a fucking cheat code, bro. Imagine if like a rice gum or like, you know what I mean? Like a banks back in their back when they did YouTube had TikTok. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Dude's going crazy for real though. Shockingly, he didn't even have his own TikTok account at the time and was just being promoted by others. Interestingly, Speed's reactions got crazier and crazier as he fed into what his audience wanted. Sometimes he acted like a zombie. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lopez donated $1.99 through Super Chat. Other times he barked like a dog, which became a signature move, by the way. <laughs> People adored Speed's incredibly off-the-wall behavior. Unlike Tyler One or Shroud, he didn't rely on technical skills, but rather on his own crackhead personality. Viewers <laughs> knew he could burst into rage at any Oh, a Jay with the slick comments. He relied on his crackhead personality. <laughs> Ooh, behave. <laughs> Any moment and the anticipation filled them with adrenaline. The intensity was amplified when Speed went on Omegle and streamed his conversations. His audience got a two for one, his and the other person's reaction. He particularly enjoyed asking girls to rate him from one to 10, which I have to admit had some pretty hilarious results. All right, man. Hey, if you can rate me one through 10, what would you rate me? Be completely honest, if you can rate me. This motherfucker. <laughs> this type of content ricocheted through TikTok and spread around YouTube like syphilis in a 19th century brothel. <laughs> the increased attention allowed iShow Speed nah, to hit 400k <laughs> subscribers on June 23rd. She said, boy, you so ugly. I ain't gonna say shit. I'm out. Yo, she did this dude like Batman be doing it. Hell, like you be talking, he, he just disappears on your ass. Like she was gone. 2021. And then 500k literally the next day. By June 30th, he had already reached the 1 million subscriber milestone only to hit 2 million 18 days later. That's right, I Show Speed gained 1 million subs in less than a month. It was absolutely astounding to say the least. Speed then temporarily moved to Los Angeles and collabed with another former NBA 2K streamer, Aiden Ross. Ross introduced him to Soldier Boy, who he barked at. Speed, did you meet Big Draco? Yeah, I met him, but we didn't really meet him. What's up, gang? Hello, man. You good? <laughs> He wants you to- <laughs> 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 That's folks, that's folks called water lava. Sadly though, Speed's mom didn't allow him to stay despite Aiden begging her like a true friend. <laughs> After he moved back in with his mom, she constantly yelled at him for being too loud. Bro, just don't cut off the Wi-Fi, that's all I gotta say. Just don't cut off the Wi-Fi. I'm not trying to hear it. I'm just letting you know. Just don't cut off the Wi-Fi, that's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but just don't turn off the Wi-Fi. It don't look cute, Junior. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not looking this reason. I'm just saying no. Quit cussing, and you know now moving forward, and everybody know stop cussing and being disrespectful. I'm not. I'm not cussing. Quit cussing. It definitely looked like he was getting stressed out. Things got even worse for Speed in December 2021 after he appeared on one of Ross's e-dating streams. He went too far during a round with a professional OnlyFans uploader named Ash Cash. As you can see in this clip, he aggressively suggested he would rap her in a hypothetical situation. I got a, like a psychological yeah, that's, question. That's never funny in any context. I wish people would stop using that joke like, like that shit funny. That, that shit's really not funny. Can we just like get rid of those kind of jokes for once and for all? Really, it's not cute. At all. And why they got this OnlyFans model talking to a 16 year old? What the hell is going on with the world? Okay. Mm -hmm. Say if we the last two people on earth and we had to reproduce to make the world continue. No! Reproduce with me? No, because that means our kids will have to intertwine and then their kids. No. All right, I'm not gonna lie. She had a good answer though. That's a, that's a good way of saying no without saying no. Like she. <laughs> Even though it makes no sense because y'all the last two people. If y'all don't do it, then the world's going to die. But I like the way she dodged that question. That shit was fire. I like that. Who going to stop me? I will. Who's going to stop me? I will. If we the last two people on earth, who going to stop me? Gee, You're I will. not stopping me. If we the last two people on earth, who going to yeah, stop yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Yo, hold up, hold up. Chill out, chill out. Just 
You're good. Mouth you're good. Re- you're re- Mouth up, mouth. Take oh, a deep breath. Yo, that's mad awkward and that's mad weird. What the hell? What? No, I can't. I'm done. You're good. Oh, I'm oh, freaking. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm thinking I'm on Omegle. Yo. Oh, shit. Oh. Like so many no, my fault. Ways. My fault. Speed then cursed her route and revealed he beat himself to her daily. Ash, yeah. hey, shut the fuck up. Ash, you fucking bitch. Listen here, you ugly fucking cunt. I beat my dick to you every fucking day. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck everything about you. I beat my dick to you every fucking day. I beat in my shit. So many kids wasted on you. I wasted all my fucking energy and kids on your bitch ass. Naturally, the clip of the incident disseminated across social media, which resulted in public outcry. The very method that made him famous backfired. He was called everything from a creep to a rapist. And well, he was also permanently banned from Twitch. Without a doubt, the situation hurt his reputation, but didn't seem to affect his growth. One of the things that saved Speed was that he was widely believed to be 16 at the time, despite him telling people he was 19. He likely lied about his age to avoid getting rejected by girls for being too young. Hey Speed's dad, how old is Speed? 19. He's 19. Told y'all I'm 19 years old! Come on now! I'm 19! I mean, Aiden Ross clearly slipped up about the fact he was actually 16. Speed is fine, bro. He's not in any danger. He's good. He's healthy. He's getting tons of fucking money at 16, 16 plus 3. By the way, given that it's March 2022, I believe Speed is 17 16 now. Plus Interestingly, 30. the Ash Cash issue isn't the only time Speed got into drama. He famously had beef with the popular Zoom class bather Jadeon. It all began when Speed told Jadeon to shut his bitch ass up on an episode of Ross's dating show with Malu Trevejo. I know, I know. Maybe he should just stop going on them. Alright, Kai, go ahead, Speed said your pussy yeah. stinks. <laughs> bro, I deny. Yo, shut your black ass up, bro. Stop. You talking to me, bro? He keep fucking bullying me, bro. I'm tired of this bitch ass. Can you chill on my homie, bro? You bald headed ass, 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 bitch. Bitch ass, boy. What's wrong with your ass, dog? Stop talking to me, dog. As a result, Jadeon called him underage. What grade are you in? What grade are you in? Graduated already, dumbass. Graduated already. Yes, I graduated, you bald head, bitch. Shut the fuck up. You Day before you speak. You're, what? You gotta be 18 to get a tattoo. Right, bitch. Yeah. Upset by this, the two later got into a screaming match. You right here, buddy. What's I don't like how to. Disrespecting me, calling me an underage, and calling me I'm not oh awesome because he's underage. Oh, you didn't like that? You didn't like that? First of all, no hell, no, I ain't like you that. Didn't like no. that? Can, can you tell this? Hey, wait, wait, wait. Speed, speed. Who? 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 Cares? Who cares? I don't talk to underage. <laughs> I ain't you, James Charles. I ain't EDP four four five. You can't talk to me. You can't talk to me. <laughs> Initially, Jadeon oh, appeared shit. to make up with Speed, oh, but it was shit. soon revealed okay. to be All a dumb right. troll. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I just sound like that, but, but um, I want to do. I want I want us to do something together. I want you, me, and Philip to do like some content one day. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm totally down. Totally down. You know Philip? Um, uh, no, not familiar with Philip. Yeah, fill up your mouth with these nuts. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch! The drama between the two eventually fizzled out, and as of the making of this video, hasn't resurfaced. Capitalize. <laughs> oh, you fell for that shit so hard. Rising <laughs> <laughs> on his massive fame, Speed has also launched a budding music career. He's released multiple songs, and one of them, Shake, has a whopping 50 million views as of the making of this video. This was a genius move because it not only allowed him to spread outside of streaming, but also somewhat legitimized him as a musician. Remember, he came from 2K, which is a community that has a deep respect for hip-hop and rap. Branching out only provides him with more opportunities for the future. Ultimately, I Show Speed's growth has been wildly fascinating to watch. His incredible rise smashed records, especially for a YouTube streamer. However, there's a few things that I think that are really concerning. For one, I feel the toxicity he breeds is very dangerous. He even goes so far as to feed into it by overdoing his reactions for views. I mean, who actually barks when they meet someone new? <laughs> Speed also made an apology video about being straight that was just so over the top. I am straight, I'm heterosexual, man. I apologize of, um, of uh, what I said back there. It's not true, I really do apologize that um, I lay out boys so much, man. Everybody, bro. Cause everybody, just come here real quick. I'm making a quick video real quick. What's so, up? so basically, everybody thinks that I'm obviously homosexual. He was clearly <laughs> making Damn, a big obviously. deal out of it, like Aiden does when he wants to appear <laughs> sus. It's pretty easy to see through the act, but it's still entertaining. Viewers don't seem to care if it's fake as long as they get a laugh out of it, just like with the TV show. And some of it is authentic, like Speed speedily recognizing this intro sound. L 
Although everyone loves when he plays into the meme, I'm concerned he might take it too far one day. Eventually, you become the character you play if you do it long enough. The sudden eruptive rage and the excessive reactions create a boiling pot of toxicity that just might overflow. Yo, I, I bet on, it's what, all what taking a negative toll. Speed speedily was... recognizing this intro sound. glass over that. Oh my gosh, wow, bro, what's I doing? Not this Stop. part, but... Although everyone loves when he plays on, into the on. meme, I'm concerned right he might take it too far one day. Eventually, you become the character you play if you yeah. do it long <laughs> enough. The, the sudden eruptive is, rage and the excessive reactions create a boiling pot of toxicity that just might head. overflow. I bet it's all taking a negative toll on Speed's mental health. <laughs> Remember, a large part of his oh growth came from TikTok, which is known for having a mostly younger demographic. And young people aren't exactly the most mature. As we've seen with Ice Poseidon, accumulating viewers who don't care about you as a person and only want to be entertained is a recipe for disaster. He's already gotten doxxed and DDoS, so swatting could be next. Speed is impressionable and his astronomic rise has probably been overwhelming. Moving too quickly can lead to hasty slip-ups like with Ash Cash. I hope he doesn't go down the wrong path because he seems like a genuinely nice human being. One thing I do want to point out is that Speed has likely made a large amount of money but it doesn't appear he let it change his persona. He hasn't shown a flashy car, luxury clothing, or even a fancy living space on stream. Speed surprised me by still being humble and staying true to his roots. This might be another reason for why people like him so much. He's a regular kid whose mom barges into his room midstream when he's being too loud despite having 40,000 live viewers. That's relatable and shows his audience he's one of them at the end of the day. They're just there along for the ride. Currently, Speed has over 6 million subscribers Damn. and he's just getting started. In his recent streams, he went on random phone apps like Talking Ben, which has attracted a younger, more tech-savvy audience. Not many other streamers do this and it's contributing to his continued rise. Speed is constantly evolving and setting himself apart from the rest. Honestly, we might be witnessing the birth of the next greatest streamer. His versatility, edgy personality, and musical talent reminds me of a young KSI. We will just have to wait and see how his career turns out. I'm definitely excited. Are you? All right, so uh, first and foremost, <laughs> Ajay, you gotta, sh you gotta shave your face, my guy. I, I need to see these, these, get rid of these Wolverine cheeks, my dude. Let's get rid of that. But other than that, banger of a video. This dude's speed is a character. <coughs> this, this dog bark. Now I'm gonna take my millions, buy me some Pokemon cards, and I'm gonna chill. <laughs> but anyways, how do you feel about it? Let me know down below. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time.